Yo, Vlad said he was about to buy, he, Yo, he even told me in an interview, he said, yo, act, I might just I'm f- around and buy BT. Like, he literally just said it. I literally, I'm like, yo, whoa. Like, chill, Vlad. Like, you tweaking. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody said my dumb beef. I'm not beefing with it. I mean, I'm, uh, like, I'm never really beefing with people. I'm, uh, I keep trying to keep it organic. You know? If p- someone has a problem with me, you know, we go at it. But other than that, I don't like beefing with people. Well, actually, I do like it, but yeah. I don't fabricate it. I genuinely talk about um, what I don't like and what I do like. Vlad got bread bread. You know, Vlad got some money, man. Talk about Bobby Schmurter. I want Bobby Schmurter on off the record. Bobby Schmurter has to see these comments about people saying that his dance moves, his movements are very suspect. And either he's trying to troll it away because he continues to do it, or he's oblivious, but what he shouldn't be oblivious to is that his music hasn't hit the same. There's a couple things that I believe that Bobby did wrong. Bobby let a lot of niggas soak up his energy for months. And now when he's dropping music, it's actually like the main attraction to his music, pause, is, is people looking and critiquing his dancing and movements. Not even listen to the songs. Niggas ain't even listening to the songs. Yo, look at how he's dancing. That's how people talk about. And I do think that, yo, Bobby fucked up. I know he's trying to get on Rot Nation. He should have just stayed low. Even though I thought he he dropped music late, he should have dropped it earlier. If he wasn't dropping music, he should have just been out of sight. It's crazy for me to think that Rowdy Rebel now, people, I think musically, people are checking for Rowdy more than Bobby. Really, I like, it's fucked up. I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel like Bobby has played this whole, he's played this whole thing wrong. And I love Bobby, but like, he's played it all all wrong. We heard about these super hot tracks. None of them are hidden. Then, here's the lie that Bobby got sold on. Bobby got sold on the lie that when he got out, because everybody hates a snitch and hates 6 9 and they love a nigga who kept it real and held it down. You know what? Everybody who quote unquote kept it real and who loved the fact that he kept it real and held it down did. They didn't all post his music. You know what they all did? They all gave him a chain, gave him some money, put that, put him in their video, clout chased off him, used him for his energy. He dropped he dropped the song. Crickets. That's it. Think about it. The way I heard niggas talk about Bobby, with all due respect not to compare the situations, remember after Nipsey died and niggas ain't want to drop music for months? Bobby just came out. When Bobby decides he's putting out music, all y'all real niggas should have stopped putting out music. Pause my album. We're all promoting Bobby this month. That's if we were to believe this whole Bobby's a hero thing that everybody was saying. But the most niggas do is they throw him up on the story. Yo, real nigga. Real nigga with some random emoji. They don't even mention the nigga music coming out. If niggas, like, if, if, if niggas wanted to get Bobby a number one song, they could do it. But really, Bobby's back in the mix. And that's what I'm saying. Bobby extended himself for everybody else. All y'all niggas should stop putting out music for one week. Remember, it's the real coming home. Y'all sat for months focusing on a rat, quote unquote, 6ix9ine. Can't all the real niggas stop for one fucking month? Not even one month, one week. Everybody promote Bobby. Everybody promote Bobby. And by the way, I do think when this album drop, everybody's going to post it. But he's lost momentum. He's lost the momentum with the fans because the fans keep seeing him everywhere else. I don't know. Um, 
I would love to have Bobby Schmurda on off the record to to ask him these questions. Bobby, what happened? Why did you why did you let these niggas use you? Like you know the funny thing is all these niggas be like, yo, Bobby's a real one. You know how they repaid Bobby? Yo, I had a show and I just brought Bobby out. I'm I'm so sick of it of everybody just tagging on Bobby as a special guest. He's a special guest to everything. Bobby's a special guest of special guests. Summer Jam, they don't even put him on the lineup. They just say special guest. Roll out coming up. He's a special guest. How about if y'all want to show him love, he headlined the shit. Y'all say he headlined the last night. That's how you show a nigga he's a big dog. You don't just like just just throw him as a sprinkle like it's a charity case. He's the headliner. That's how you show a nigga like that. Like you, that's how you fuck with a nigga. But I'm not seeing it. Bobby Schmurr should be headlining all these shows if if everybody really loved him how they were saying they do. They bring him out. I seen Bobby Schmurr come out of Summer Jam. He performed one song. I couldn't fucking believe it. No way. No way, uh, 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 yo, uh, 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 I thought it was like, yo, free the real, keep the faith. I thought that's what it was. He came out performing one song. I couldn't fucking believe it. Nigga, I thought he was going to be performing 10 songs, nigga. Nigga, I thought he was going to, I thought he was going to be like, Josh, Bobby, let's go. Nigga, I want to hear Bobby, bitch. Nigga, I want to hear every song he ever did. I want to hear his fucking verses on other people's song. It's Bobby Schmurder. Let's show him the love. Then I realized... Exactly what this industry is. The piranhas came out. They sharked up his wave. They ate it up. And they use that nigga as a sprinkle. Just powder him on top. Sad. Sad. I don't know, man. I don't know.